Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leak Code called Odd Even Linked List. This is part of Leak Code 75, a playlist we've been doing, and I have that link down below if you do want to check out other questions from that playlist. So, what is this question? Well, given the head of a singly linked list, group all the nodes with odd indices together, followed by the nodes with even indices, and return the reordered list. The first node is considered odd, and the second node is even, and so on. Note that the relative order inside both the even and odd groups should remain as it was in the input. You must solve the problem in O of 1 extra space complexity and O of n time complexity. So example 1, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We want to group all the odd nodes together and the even ones together. So we're going to go from 1 to 3 to 5 and follow that up with 2 and then 4. And we would return 1, the head of that modified linked list. And example two, we have the following input. So for here, we're doing the same thing again. We're grouping all the odd indices together. So we're going to go two, three, six, and seven. And we don't want to confuse the values with the indices. These are the values, but these are still index one, three, five, and seven. And once that's done, once they're grouped together, we're going to follow that up by the even indices that we group together, one, five, and four in that same relative order, just at the end of that odd grouping. So this problem is actually pretty straightforward. It's just going to be some pointer manipulation. So say we have the following example, one, two, three, four, five. We know we want to keep the same relative order for both odd and even. So what we can do is just change up the pointers. Instead of one going to two and then three, we want one to go to three directly. And then we want three to go to five directly. And then from there, we also want to group the even one. So two is going to go to four and then to none. Now that we split sort of our odd and even groupings, we just want to append the even linked list, so two, four, and then none, to the end of our odd one, one, three, five, and return that final head that would point to the modified linked list. And that's it. So let's go ahead and code this up and then run through an example. Okay, to code this up, the first thing I want to do is check my base cases. What if the head that I'm given is none? So if head is none, or there's just one node in our linked list, so head.next is none, we are just going to return head. So if it's none, we're going to return none. And if it's just one element, we're just going to return that element back. There's really no rearranging that's needed. Now, that's not the case. We just want to switch around pointers. So what I'm going to do is initialize my odd and even nodes. Odd is going to start off at head. So if this is the linked list that I'm using, odd is going to be over here. And I'm going to set my even and even head to be that next node. So even is going to equal even head, which is going to equal head dot next. So even's here and even head is also here. Now, we know we want to switch around pointers. We want odd to point to evens next and even to point after that next next node. And we want to keep doing this up until there are no more nodes to process. And since even is after odd, we're going to have our while condition based off of even. So while there's still nodes on our even node, so while even and even dot next, there's still a node afterwards. So even dot next, while this is true, we're going to do our pointer switching. So our odd dot next is going to equal even dot next. So we're changing our current odds next node instead of being where it is to be the evens next node. So right now it's next node points at three over here. Now we want to move our odd node down to be this new node. So odd is now going to equal odd.next. So odd is over here and we want to do the same thing for even. So even is going to equal odd.next. So odd.next, which means instead of its next pointer pointing at three, it's going to go to odds next node over here. So after this modification, even's next node, so two's next node points at four and we want to move even down to that node. So even is now going to equal even.next. So our current state looks like the following. We have one pointing to three, which is our odd node, which points to four and then five. And then we have even head at two and two points to four, which is our current even node and four still points to five. So we go back in this while loop and we see even is true. It's not none. And even dot next is also true. It's not none. So we're going to go in this while loop again and do the same pointer switching again. So odd dot next is going to equal even dot next. Even is at four right now. So odds next is going to go to five. And now we're going to move odd to be odd dot next. So instead of three, odd is now at five. And we're going to do the same thing for even. This should be even dot next. Even dot next should be odd dot next. So what is four's next is going to be odds next, which is none. So this is our current pointer pointing to none. And we're going to move even down to even dot next. So even now points to none. So once we go back in this while loop, we see that even is not true. It's at none. So we exit out of here. But we have all the correct pointers. One goes to three, which goes to five, which goes to none. 
and two goes to four goes to none. We have our odd and even groupings correct. The only thing left to do is append that even linked list we have from two, four to none to the end of our odd one. So odd ends up at five. So what we're going to do is set odd.next to be our even head, what we were storing over here, which means we're going to go from one to three to five to two to four to none. So this is what that modified linked list would look like. We go from one to three to five to two to four to none. And in the end, what we want to do is just return our head, which points to one. So we're going to return head and that's going to point to the rest of our modified linked list. So let's go ahead and submit this and it is accepted. Now talking about space and time complexity for time, we are iterating through our entire linked list. So if there are n nodes, our time is going to be O of n. And for space, we're doing exactly what the problem asked is going to be constant of one for space, because all we're doing is changing where our pointers point to. We're not using any extra space. So it's going to be O of one for space and O of n for time. Now we just went ahead and solved odd even linked list. We did a walkthrough with this example over here. And if you have any questions whatsoever with this, the code or anything, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Oh, <laughs>